I seem to take note of that, that same um, answer. Um, I am extremely distressed to hear of the closure of that office of NAJA. NAJA, I have had experience um, and from uh, work, I have the experience of having spoken to them many times and the excellent work they do of, and they have presented to the community affairs inquiry, uh, various inquiries on a number of time, on a number of occasions. They provide vital and excellent services to Aboriginal people in the Northern Territory. When I asked about the removal of legal aid funding in estimates, I was told that it would have no impact on frontline services. That was clearly absolute nonsense, because it clearly is having impacts on frontline services. When I asked then um, the, the um, Social Justice Commissioner, Mr Mick Gooder, about what impact Change, cutting support for Aboriginal legal services and policy, uh, particularly for not just um, the areas around, for example, um, po uh, for er areas around policy and advocacy, not just the cutting of advocacy funds. He very clearly said in estimates that this will have a direct impact on Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples, and that it would have a direct impact on incarceration of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. We are not going to close the gap if we continue to take funding out of supports for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. We had in here just five or ten minutes ago also raising the issue that Mr Mundine is talking about a further $600 million cuts. That's over a billion dollars worth of cuts to funding for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. That is not just simply efficiency programs. When we asked in estimates where this funding was coming from, in fact, the department and the minister could not tell us where that funding was coming from because it is not. They haven't done a systematic review of funding for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. What they have done is just take an efficiency dividend. So they can't stand there and say this is about delivering more efficient and better services for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples because it simply is not true. They have just taken a razor to that funding and not satisfied with $534 million that they're taking out of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander funding. Now Mr Mundine is flagging, and before the government has sort of denied any ownership of these particular um, suggestions for cuts, but here we had Senator Edwards quite proudly claiming there is another suggestion for six hundred million dollars worth of cuts to funding supports for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. We know that we are not anywhere close to closing the gap. Yes, we've had improvements on certain indicators, which is fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. But we saw the latest COAG reform report, and they clearly said that we, if we don't step up activity, we are not going to meet the closing the gap commitments for, 2000 and, uh, for the, for the um, time frame we have in place, which is 2030. We are not on track to meet our closing the gap commitments. We, this government has cut funding dramatically to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. And then you also need to bear in mind that those cuts are on top of the disproportional impact that the budget will have on Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. So, for example, the cuts to income support are disproportionately going to impact on Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. The cuts to disability support pension, again, will, will um, disproportionately impact on um, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. Senator Perris asked very important questions in this chamber and, of course, did not receive satisfactory answers. What is going to happen to the people that were previously represented and supported by NAJA, who have provided invaluable services to the people, not only in, in Arnhem Land, but also for the other work that they do? Because, of course, this isn't just about the, the impacts on that particular office. It will impact on their work throughout the Northern Territory, Organize, an organisation that provides 
ongoing support for many Aboriginal people who have nowhere else to go for that level of support. And it puts a pay to the complete furphy that this government put round that their cuts would not have any impact on frontline services. Clearly is, clearly will, and it will significant it will have significant long term impacts. Thank you, Senator Seward. The question is the motion moved by Senator Seward to take note of